Hello my friends, welcome to Top Classical Music. Today we are going to talk about the history of the Blue Danube. In 1865, Johann Herbeck, choirmaster of the Vienna Men's Choral Society, commissioned Strauss to write a choral work, due to the composer's other commitments the piece wasn't even started. The following year, Austria was defeated by Prussia in the Seven Weeks War. Aggravated by post-war economic depression, Viennese morale was at a low and so Strauss was encouraged to revisit his commission and write a joyful waltz song to lift the country's spirit. Strauss recalled a poem by Karl Isidor Beck. Each stanza ends with the line, by the Danube, beautiful blue Danube. It gave him the inspiration and the title for his new work, although the Danube could never be described as blue and, at the time the waltz was written, it did not flow through Vienna. To the waltz, the Choral Society's poet Joseph Whale added humorous lyrics ridiculing the lost war, the bankrupt city, and its politicians. The premiere of the waltz for choir at Vienna's Diana Batzel took place on February 15, 1867. Considering its subsequent popularity, its reception was somewhat muted, apparently it received only one encore, which in Strauss's terms equaled a flop. This may have been due to the fact that both the choir and the audience hated the words. But when, later that year, Strauss introduced the waltz in its orchestral garb to Paris at the World Exhibition, it created a sensation. It's said that Strauss's publisher received so many orders for the piano score that he had to make 100 new copper plates so that he could print over a million copies. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video.